back this is asas pixel studio it's another tutorial in photoshop so today we'll be looking at how to clone or steal background in photoshop so let's say you like a background or you like a particular background and you want to use that background for um photo compositing or manipulation you can actually take and steal this background or clone this background so i'm going to use this one as an example this image which also applies to any other image okay so let's get started the first thing i would like to do i would like to unlock the layer and duplicate the layer so we know we have a reference okay so now i'm going to start with this one on top let's rename it to image i m a g e image that we're going to be working with so the first thing is to look for um a place you are going to start from let's start from the simplest part so you start from the simplest part so we're going to remove it from this down mat and from the mat on the wall and also from the body from this place so the right tool to use for that i'm going to use the um lasso tool to quickly draw a circle like this and then i'm going to take it down words and come let's just bring it like this and take it upwards and try to complete it now since we make that selection we can actually add or remove so and now once we have that we can use the clone stamp tool so the most important tool here is the clone stamp tool and the um the lasso tool so i'm just going to hold and hold sample and area and i'm going to draw the pattern like this so make it bigger just hold and sample somewhere like this and you know draw now so ctrl d to deselect we are left with that side all right so the next one is the circle which is the one of the hardest parts and you just need to follow up now uh for that i'm going to use the um rectangular marker tool so i'm going to start from the middle part of the circle it's now for a perfect job i'm going to do it like this so let's quickly bring it down we need it somewhere here so bring it downwards and take it forward to the edge of the mat so somewhere here should be fine and i'm going to leave it and i'm going to duplicate it Control j to duplicate the layer so we're left with that layer alone so how do we eliminate this one i'm going to grab the selection tool which is um the quick selection tool which is here um, i'm going to decrease the circle and i'm going to select it like this and let's cut it so edit and i'm going to cut so we are left with the mat now let's turn it back on so we have two layers there i'm going to move it which is this one now this is what we're going to do we're duplicating it four times so ctrl j ctrl j ctrl j which is the four times we're duplicating it so let's start with the first one which is this first layer that we have now i'm going to rotate it and make it smaller so let's bring it inside and make it very small till it matches the circle in the middle so something like this i'm going to rotate it till it matches the circle and bring it smaller and make it smaller so till we have something that matches the circle so it should be good like this i'm going to leave it like that and then the second one let's zoom out we have it like this the second one let's turn it on so now i'm going to combine this three one two three and i'm going to combine it together merge layers and now we're going to use ctrl j and we're going to make that one very small holding down hot and it's going to reduce it to the middle something like this so reduce you can still take it lower make it lower and that's all for that okay so we still have some um thing we need to clean up so now we need the big part so let's continue next thing is to um duplicate this one ctrl j to duplicate it and we can make it bigger hold it and hot like that and i'm going to drag it to the middle 
and drag it below and so there we have it and we can also duplicate it again ctrl j and make that one bigger holding down hot just a little bit make it bigger holding down hot okay we want to maintain the circle okay so just leave it like this and then we're going to um what we need to do is to duplicate the layer again so let's apply it duplicate this layer ctrl j and i'm going to drag it below and i'm going to make it bigger till i get the circle so let's get the circle properly like that and i'm going to hit okay so let's combine the three together so let's do uh, merge layers and merge so we have this to this so what we need to do now is to create a mask so create a mask and in fact the mask control high so grab the brush tool and i'm going to make the brush smaller zoom in and make sure your foreground color is white so we're going to paint on it make it uh let's make the hardness it is five percent so let's do it like this you just need to paint over it So now I'm going to create a stem visible layer, Ctrl Shift Alternate E to create a stem visible layer. And then I'm going to grab the patch tool. Or well, let's use the um, lasso tool again. So I'm just going to draw a circle on this one and hold Shift F5 filled with content away. And it's going to remove that. Let's do it again. It's too big. This side as well. Let's fill it shift f5 fill with content aware i'm going to do that for all of them so at the time you are going to have um, um something real bad so i'm going to show you how to fix that so let's finish it up for this one for also this place i can just you know uh, but the best way to do it is to um select this circle ctrl j ctrl j and now we can do ctrl j twice and let's turn out the first one we can select the second one and make it smaller if you want to make it look perfect though so make it look smaller and leave it at the middle and turn on this one and then make it look smaller bringing it down below this one and sorry ctrl z ctrl z let's quickly bring it down before we make it look smaller so i'm hold, hold and hold and make it smaller like that and that's okay for it so we have that now we still have this small part that looks um that there are grains in it so what we just need to do is to use the clone stamp to uh make sure the hardness is somewhere like 74 pick a place and just tap tap so like that and if you want to make it look perfect though it's already perfect because it's a far one so we have that one done now let's go to the next one which is this one now so what we need to do is to use the clone stamp tool and then grab a place a particular place and we can create a new layer take it up and sample all layers make it big and i can hold on out and then i can drag hold on out and then i can drag so like that uh hold on hold and then drag so we are left with that one like that um it's not looking smooth then we can uh let's quickly correct this one first of all so um what we need to do is to remove this i'm going to create a selection of it like this sorry let's do it again create a selection let's add more selection hold on shift 
and create a selection add that selection to it or uh, either you move it hold down um, the patch to select this one then and then move why isn't it moving why isn't it moving okay um let's see what's wrong with the image i'm going to create a stem visible layer ctrl d to deselect ctrl shift to turn it e create a stem visible layer and then we can select again Let's do it again. Uh, I'm just going to quickly draw and I'm going to move. Okay, so that should be good. Um, one last thing is you can actually draw a line like this and then duplicate Ctrl J and invert. Let's take the move to take it up. Let's invert it now by doing it, holding down shift and usually make it look like this. And sometimes I just grab the eraser tool and I just erase the part like that. Okay, so we can move it up and get what we need. All right, so you can also decrease your opacity. Turn it off and let's see our before, before and after, before and after. Well, it might take um, a little longer for you to achieve that, but it works with all. Um, this technique just work. It's not actually a technique. It's a way to manipulate photo and get your results. All right, guys. So thank you guys for watching. I'm going to do another one for the video. So see you in the next one.